we got a <laughs> nice down pipe. It goes down the pipe of the car. <laughs> Is there for now. What is this kid doing? <laughs> it's okay, boys. Trying to, the rats are trying to sleep. It's fine. <laughs> Quick little note before the video starts, for people who are only here for the before and after clips of the exhaust, we'll have a timestamp for you to skip to and all the parts that we use in this video will be linked in the description below. If you're sticking around, I hope you enjoy watching me and my friends try to install this exhaust for almost nine hours on a Sunday night into a Monday morning. And if you have any advice for us in the future, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Welcome to Will C Garage. In today's video, we'll be installing a pseudo 2.5 inch catback exhaust on my 2013 Fiat 500 Mark. So we've made it to the shop now. We have the exhaust out, we have the car on the lift. I guess we'll unbox the exhaust for you now. So we've got the whole exhaust unboxed and unwrapped. Looks pretty good, unlike my stock system, which you're going to see pretty soon. Um, I didn't have intentions to buy this entire exhaust system. I honestly, I just want to build a catalyst downpipe on it and get it tuned, but when I got this downpipe, believe it or not, I got this downpipe five months ago. We wrapped it in uh, heat wrap, ceramic coated it. After I got it wrapped, I brought it straight to the shop. I was gonna get it installed. And when I went to install it initially at the shop, we were test fitting it. And on the stock system, when they put it on and they attached it to the turbo, the gap between the mid pipe, the stock mid pipe, and this downpipe was exactly like this. So, we didn't know what that was all about. So I brought it to an exhaust shop and what the, we made the assumption that the stock, the owner before me, they put maybe their own kind of downpipe set up or something something along those lines and they cut the midpipe short. It's like, it's fine, we can do an extension on it, you know, get it to fit. Every time I went to an exhaust shop, I got like a $300, $400, $500 quote to get this midpipe extended. I didn't want to spend that kind of money because I knew that maybe there's an exhaust system where I could buy like a stock midpipe to just fix the problem. But. Anyways, I kept going to exhaust shops, getting different quotes, and then and then I was tired of it. I was like, I might as well just get a whole new exhaust. So I bought this pseudo cap back for, I think it was 400. I got this entire cap back for 400. It's like, that's as much as I was getting quoted to fix this mid pipe. I bought this entire exhaust system. We're gonna set, we're gonna fit this down pipe at the same time. And uh, hopefully it all works out. One thing I forgot to mention about getting the new exhaust is that uh, with my stock exhaust right now, besides the fact that the downpipe does not fit, there's a lot of um, cracks. Some of the hangers are getting kind of deteriorated, the ones that come off the exhaust. So whenever I'm driving, if I hit even the smallest bump, or even when I start accelerating the exhaust, of course, it moves. And I, I hear a lot of squeaking. Throughout the entire exhaust, there's cracks. It's kind of getting messed up here and there. So that was also another reason why I bought the entire system rather than just buying like a mid pipe from the junkyard or anything of that sort. So yeah. I just wanted to include that before we started. Uh, the reasons I got the exhaust were downpipe not fitting and uh, the entire exhaust having uh, imperfections basically, you know, throughout the exhaust. So the first step obviously is to get the car in the air. I mean, this is gonna be kind of like an instructional video, kind of not because we're not professionals at making videos just yet. So we'll show you as much as we can. Obviously the first step is to get the car in the air. We are uh, thankful to have, um, have these lifts to work with. So we're gonna put the car up on the air with those. But after that, the process is basically the same. Let's just make it a little bit easier and we'll see you when it's up in there. After a lengthy food break, we are starting at 9 p.m. These, these two bozos wanted to go get food for an hour, so 9 p.m. is when we start. <clears throat> so the first step is removing the downpipe right over here. You gotta take off this triangle that holds in the heat shield. Three bolts, one, two, three. Good. This is gonna come right off, and then when we get that off, we'll pick back up. Hey. All right, now that we've got that piece and this heat shield off, we have to take off this downpipe. It's still pretty hot, so. When that cools down, we'll take off the, everything up here, including the O2 sensor. I'll uh, lift it back up, get those bolts off, and the downpipe will be off. If you haven't seen my previous modifications to this car, as you're seeing right now, you know, the red valve cover the intake, the catch can. You can check out my video introducing the car and myself. Uh, there's gonna be a link to it in the corner somewhere. Quick update on the downpipe. At first, we tried taking off the bolt. I mean, we got off the heat shield, as you saw. We got off both those pieces. But when we went to take off the downpipe, this clamp, it was all the way underneath, and we were trying to get wrenches and tools underneath 
from that side with the intake still on if you have an intake honestly that goes over here i know some people have short rims if you have a short ram you're fine but anything on this side take it off it'll make your life 10 times easier when you're doing this so we're getting this clamp off you're gonna get underneath the car after this so is the wrench um once this is off we're gonna go underneath the car and the downpipe should be off so now there's just this bolt right here and then there's this bolt right here and the downpipe should be clear to come off so issue we're encountering now is this is again part of the problem that um i got the whole cat back is um if you take a look here these welds the previous owner has done actually this is what i meant to show you guys before so if you take a look at this exhaust right here you can see those that doesn't look very oem uh ripples in the pipe not oem that's uh this is all product of someone's terrible work so that's this is all a custom pipe this is not oem and they mounted it to their own down pipe which is again giving me problems and if you come back here even at the flex pipe they've cut it so if you see that that's messed up that's again not oem same thing over here and then this is where oem starts so this is all regular piping but again there's multiple cracks in this so getting rid of it but the issue that we're facing now is that because of these terrible welds i don't know if you can't see it very well but when we try to put a socket right here um it actually does not fit um and when we do it it's just it's just stripping this bolt this one right here oh i can hear the cobra The second nut for the downpipe is stripped so uh, you can see it here it is completely stripped so the new exhaust comes with hard, new hardware studs and nuts so we're just gonna cut it completely off it doesn't even matter at this point after five hours we finally got the downpipe bolts out from the bottom I have to pull up the angle grinder for this one but it's all good Good thing we don't got to reuse this hardware. Exactly, we got all the new hardware right over here. Front to back, brand new. The old and in with the new. So I've got the downpipe off. Now all we have to do is unbolt this mid pipe, take it off the hanger, unbolt this mid pipe, take it off the hanger, I'll unbolt this, take it off, unbolt the tips or the axle back you may call it, take it off that hanger and then we should be good. We're good. I was recording that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Add this to the final piece. Well, we've officially got the old exhaust system out. A very large problem. This goes from two and a half inch, I'm pretty sure, to like practically nothing. This is a new Y pipe. This is going to help a lot, especially since we're going catalyst down pipe. No more exhaust leaks because this one was cracked. This one's brand new. This resonator is a little bit bigger than this one. Hopefully, it helps. I don't think it is. Um, it'll cut down drone a little bit. The, this is probably the cause of my lease, honestly, where they did all this terrible welding. This is all fresh. Um, terrible catalyst or high flow down pipe that they made their own catalyst. Stuff. These bends are all uniform. Yeah. These bends it's ripple, ripple. Oh, yeah. Ripple. This is something I don't think they, I pointed out. Maybe. It goes from smaller to bigger, to big to small again. Yeah. So, so progress so far. We've got the down pipe in. Now, downpipe has been in before. The only issue is when you go to mount it down there, this exhaust is gonna bolt up to this downpipe. If not, we'll see. Downpipe's in, we've got the clamp in. Um, so yeah, we're just having it holding it in place right now because we're gonna bolt it in. We have to have it a little bit loose so that there's some play over there, but that's in. Me and Arky got that done. Um, Angel and Dennis are trying to get this O2 sensor off. But it is not budging. Oh, oh, it moved. Oh, yes. Oh my God, it's moving. It has not budged for the past how long? It's been about an hour. It was, it's like a thousand degrees right now. Yeah, they probably melted everything, so. Yeah, it's probably broken. <laughs> so we gotta bring the car back up and we're gonna mount this right here. This has to fit. If this does not fit, the almost seven hours that we spent now are gonna be 
gone. Yes. And we clearly got a new problem if a brand new downpipe and a brand new exhaust does not work. But it should work and that's still two cents. May or may not work still. So don't know. It'll work. It'll work. Hopefully. What? I said it fit. They can't even see me, but it fits. It fits. Every time I've tried to fit it at the shop, in the driveway, never fit. People try different ways of finessing it in there. Never fit. Went to exhaust shops all the time. Got it to quotes for like 200, 300, 400. Was it too much just to get that little bit of extension? And it finally attaches to something. <laughs> Light. Any better light? That's it right there. Eh? Eh? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> no, that's not supposed to go. 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like go over. There you go. There we go. Yeah, it's just gonna sit over the axle. Make sure the gasket's going right. Yeah, good. Push it up, push it up. Okay, that's good. Come on. Someone's gonna have to. Is it the hanger? No, my head is holding up the exhaust. Oh. <laughs> okay, great. We gotta get the axle back. There for now. What is this kid doing? <laughs> Dude, are trying to, the rats are trying to sleep. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's already past your bed. First, my that first hanger is what's worse. Is. <laughs> yeah, this one. My, 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 my threads, my literally. Oh, on this kid, man. Yeah. <laughs> literally, hangers. Someone else want to record? Hmm. Sure. I'll do it. If I can get light. Really soft. There's one thing, huh? It's fine, bro. There's one thing to take from this. Hangers are a pain. Every single hanger here has given a pretty. Pretty good, good fight. fight, pretty good fight when it came to putting it in. We could, we just grabbed some random grease that we saw. <laughs> Greased up this one. So we got we gotta put that one in and then we have to put this hanger over. You probably can't see it, but it's right right here. That'll be it. So right now we've got everything loose, loosely installed. So down pipe is on loose, this is on loose, this is on loose, this is on loose. <laughs> Hangers are in of course. Once that's in. We're gonna tie in everything up and then that really should be, that should be it. Thanks to the hard work of these gentlemen right here, Dennis, Aki, Angel. <laughs> yeah, we got a camera, bro. Definitely. At, what time is it? Let me get a time check real quick. One after one. It is one, uh, one ten, and everything is in place, loosely, but it's in place. We're gonna do the last bolts right now and we should be good for the first start. At long last, we're tightening down for real the, the first part, the downpipe. Problem number, Dennis, give me a number. 6,969. We are finding it very difficult to secure the top nut. So, finding it hard to get something on this so that we can tighten up this. Um, because just of the location of it. But it seems that Angel's got it, so that's good. Final time check of the night. Everyone is exhausted. It is 2.26 in the morning. Probably shouldn't have taken this long, but it's all done now. Starting from up here, we've got Catalyst downpipe from 500 Madness, heat wrapped and silicone coated. Down into the pseudo two and a half inch cat back exhaust all the way to the tips. Bolted up, looking nice. Uh, my only problem issue with it right now is the way that the tips sit. They kind of hit the diffuser a little bit, um, or they're resting on it actually, not just hit. Um, it's gonna cause some vibrations, but I'm thinking that when I, cause we did mess up, there's two uh, messed up exhaust hangers. So I'm thinking that when I get, um, when I get new ones, I'm gonna order four all new ones. Hopefully that helps the situation. Um, but yeah, that's about it for now. Here, we'll show you the cold start and the um, after clips now. <laughs> Cars on the ground. After, what time is it? Uh, 
2.45 in the morning, it is on the floor. We wrapped everything up, all the tools are out. Open up the door, everybody's getting ready for that first start. Hopefully it's something entertaining. Here we go out to. Oh boy. It is 3.03, when me and Aki were putting on the turbo blanket, we, uh, we unplugged the O2 sensor. Kind of forgot to put it back, so we started it. It sounded like there was an exhaust leak, and I thought it was because of this clamp that's back here, or V-band, whatever you want to call it. Um, no, they can't see it, but I thought it was from there because that's been, that's been an ongoing issue every time I take it out, the downpipe, that, that it's not very secure, but when I pulled it out over there and I was chilling, I saw that I heard the doom, 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 doom. So I looked at there and the sensor is gone. So hopefully we plug that in. Everything should be A-OK. -okay. That's what I've been saying for the past seven hours. It just has <laughs> not been A-OK, -okay, but we can, we can hope. Yeah. All right, it is three something. I don't even know at this point. Closing up the hood. Let's get that first. Uh, it's not the first start, but second start. because it got warm. It's louder. We'll take after videos, comparisons uh, tomorrow. You'll see those in the next clip probably. So we'll see you then. So that'll be it for this exhaust video. There's one thing left to do on the exhaust, which is the hangers. Some of the hangers are messed up, which is causing my tips. If you remember, they're going into the diffuser a little bit. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna install new hangers, hopefully. And then once that is done, I'm gonna make a comprehensive review to you about how I feel about the exhaust, going catless, how the exhaust feels overall. And that video will be coming out once I fix the hangers. So if you wanna see that comprehensive review video, Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube, and you'll see when that video comes out. I'll post on my Instagram, and you'll also see it if you're subscribed on YouTube. But for now, that's it, and we hope you enjoy the video.